Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, defending the move to increase Bahamas Air's fares. Among the increases, domestic fares and a charge for the first bag on international flights. Minister de Aguilar says this step was necessary to mitigate against some of the substantial losses the national flag carrier has encountered as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. At the beginning of the year, the financial year, Bahamas Air was projected to require $19 million in subvention from central government. As COVID-19 and the effects of this pandemic have unfurled, and Bahamas Air has been grounded, yet still paying all of its expenses, payroll, debt service, leases and rents, the estimated losses for Bahamas Air are going to mushroom to well in excess of $50 million. And so the now, the tourism minister also explained why the domestic rates are being increased. The international fares are obviously governed by a revenue management system, and they go up and down depending on demand and supply. Uh, the family island rates are fixed, irrespective of date of travel, irrespective of holiday, irrespective of uh, time of year. And so there was a slight adjustment in, in, in those prices. Um, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, but I think, uh, and hopefully the Bahamian people will understand the losses at Bahamas Air and the fact that the government has made it a policy to uh, uh, not furlough anybody, not sell off any aircraft, as other airlines around the world have done, 